Good morning, Boston. It is raining today. Uh, today is um, the last day of this cycle of medication. So I've been taking it for, well, after today, I'll have been taking it for 14 days. I take it every day. Four pills in total a day, two in the morning, two in the evening. Um, and so this is the last day appointment. But I still have an appointment next week and the week after, even though those next two weeks I'm not going to be taking the pill. So I'm just waiting on my lift and then off to the hospital I go. Whee! That was easy. I wish it was really that easy. I just got done with a long conversation with Richard, who I introduced you to in the last um, trial related vlog, not the brain vlog. So uh, I came in, they did my initial blood work, got an IV, things are going smoothly as they should be. I will be talking to the doctor today, I think in about 15 minutes. So we'll hear what he has to say. Um, I am gonna ask him about neurology and when I might be seeing them. The only thing left that I have to do is pee-pee in a cup. Well, that's not the only thing I have left. I still have to get EKGs, take my medication, do all that fun stuff. You know, the, all the things, all the, the test things that I have to do, all that. So I haven't shown you any of that. So I'll, I'll vlog some of that today. Tacrolimus level? Tacrolimus level, let's do it. You know, just got my EKGs, and now she's going to draw my blood. So exciting. Okay, I'm back in New Hampshire. And wait, don't click away from the video yet, because this is important. I talked to Dr. Cote that day. And I asked Dr. Cote about some neurology appointment details. And he said, we're holding off on scheduling an appointment with neurology to kind of see if these tumors are actually doing anything in the brain because once we get into neurology and they look at those, they may want to do a whole bunch of tests, lumbar puncture, all this stuff to confirm and see what it is. And that would likely get me booted from the trial. Um, now, if this ends up not being EHE and it is something we can do about, we want to make sure it's growing first. Um, which is, sounds like a really horrible way to put that, but pretty much if these things, whatever they are, are dormant and leaving me alone and just kind of chilling, we don't want to disturb them. We want to let them be for now. So that's why we're waiting on neurology. We don't want to, you know, stir up dust and wake the beast and make things irritated and, you know, risk getting me off of a drug that could potentially work. A little frustrating, but that's kind of how the game is played. The other thing is, is that I clarified with him, I asked him to clarify for me, if these tumors are on the actual brain surface or if they're on the skin layer that is between the brain and the skull. And that's just part of our anatomy. It's like your skull and then there's a skin layer and then there's your actual brain matter. And these tumors are actually on the skin layer of the brain and there's no irritation underneath. So they shouldn't be causing any funky effects. So back to realizing that the, my hands, my funkiness that I've been feeling in my hands is probably just coming from my shoulders, which that's great news. And this has been the biggest roller coaster I swear to God of my life. Um, <laughs> I've been on a lot of roller coasters in the last 12 years of being diagnosed. So uh, if I've said that before, give me a break. Every day is a new one. Um, but that's it. That's all I have to share with you this week. I am now off the drug for two weeks. Um, it's, you know, the first cycle's two weeks on, two weeks off, and I'm on my weeks off. And it fell perfectly with Thanksgiving. I got two Thanksgivings. Here's dinner number one. I had on actual Thanksgiving with a huge family. They're so sweet. So awesome. Here's Thanksgiving number two. Um, we even got prime rib in there. And I didn't get a picture of that. But it was delicious. And pie. 
and I have eaten way too much over the last couple of days and I'm going to continue to eat until all those leftovers are so gone. Gone, gone, gone. Uh, despite being off the drug, I am still having to go to appointments every week. I don't know if I'm going to vlog or if I'm going to take a break for two weeks. I might take a break for two weeks. Um, a lot of emotional and everything, mental work for me goes into making these videos, which is why I had stopped doing it all those, those years ago, because I was tired. It doesn't matter. But anyways, I promise every time I'm in New Hampshire, you're not going to see me in that pink robe. <laughs> and um, if I don't see you next week, I'll see you in two. Bye.